Now let us add one interface card to our master system. So we will go to our uh, virtual machine that is master. So we are going to say edit virtual machine setting. Then we will go to the network adapter, add. It is going to say that uh, it is going to add, it requires administrative privilege. So we are going to say yes. Now which type of network adapter? you can add another devices also but here we are interested in network adapter next now we are going to specify network adapter type as bridge finish now it is going to first one second one so we are going to say ok then we are going to power on the system then which command we are going to run after we have powered on the system we will log in and after login, we are going to check the command with IPAS whether we are able to add. Now, uh, when uh, we are go uh, going to check, it is going to show you the um, this interface. But if we are going to carefully uh, open this file, we will see what will happen. So in our case, we are going to look at the file configuration file, etc, sysconfig, network script, if CFG ENS 30T and we will see what is going to happen. So let us go to this system. So we will log in as then what we are going to do. We are going to run this command IP AS. Now it is going to show a card ENS 33 ENS 33 ENS 33 is having the rest 172 24 0.1 but it is not having any rest. So we are going to open the configuration file of this interface. So in our case, we will open by using sysconfig network scripts then if cf then what should be the name of the card name of the file this should be the but if we are carefully going to look it is showing that no such file or directory. So what we are going to do we will go to the directive where those files are there network interface files are there so sys config network scripts we will go to this directive we will view now no file is there so you can create the file from scratch or in our case what we are going to do we will make the copy of this file cf ens 33 we will copy it as efg ens 38 so now second file is there but we have to edit this file so we are going to edit this file and we are going to make certain changes like the name because this uh, file is going to configure your 38 ENS 38 interface card. So here what we are going to give, we are going to, we want to give the address 192.168.0.1 and then mask is 255. So we are going to save it. Now again, if we are going to look at this file carefully, now that file is there. Now we are going to run this command systemctl restart network. So we are going to look at what is going to happen, whether we are going to get in both address or not. So that means the file was not there. So we have to create that file. Now if you are going to carefully like, uh, uh, look at uh, ENS 33 is having the rest 172.24.0.1 and ENS 38 is having the rest 192.168.0.1. Now we are going to enable the routing functionality. So in our case we are going to open this file sysctl dot config and we are going to add one parameter that is net dot ipv4 
फोर डॉट आई पी अंडर स्कोर फॉरवर्ड इक्वल टू वन वन मीन वी वॉन्ट टू परफॉर्म द राउटिंग इफ वी वॉन्ट टू डिसेबल द राउटिंग फंक्शनैलिटी वी हैव टू चेंज द वैल्यू टू जीरो सो वी आर गोइंग टू सेव दिस फाइल एंड फॉर एक्टिवेटिंग दिस सेटिंग वट यू हैव टू डू either reboot the system or you can run this command sysctl minus p now it is showing you the send and if you want you can view all the settings that are configured for the kernel by using this command but uh, in our case we can activate this so in our case now our system is ready that mean uh, network adapter file was not there we created that file we make the changes then Uh, if we are going to look at the address both address are available and then we made the changes in this file now we have configured this system as a router now what is our next purpose we are going to power on these three other systems and we are going to give the address um, as we have shown in this diagram so we will be now configuring the other three systems